This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. Lunch break coming up next. We are making healthy food. No worries. Mm -hmm. We're going to start your new year off right. I know you've been trying to eat more vegan foods. Working we're at it. We're going to have some good recipes. for lunch break. Many of you may remember our next guest, Anupi Singla, is a foodie TV reporter turned now cookbook author. This is so fabulous. She was, of course, the morning on-air reporter for CLTV and a business reporter for Bloomberg News and WGN. Welcome back. So Thank nice you. to see you. And I love this idea. The cookbook is Vegan 101. And I know that oftentimes even doctors will tell you, at least try to limit or reduce the amount mm -hmm. of meat that you have in your diet. But I think it's kind of overwhelming for people. Like, oh no, vegan. All of a sudden you say the word and it seems yeah. Like, I can't do that. Yeah, and I've been eating veganish for about 30 years now, and so to me it's intuitive. But a lot of other people say, what are you going to make me leave out? And I say, no, it's not scary. It's not about leaving things out. It's about including more vegetables, more beans, um, more fruit, and things that you probably eat anyway. I'm peanut butter and jelly is vegan. Oh, so, well, right, you know. exactly. That's what I say, you know, people just think of the word as being, you know, too intimidating. But you're adding some Indian spices as well yes. in at least one of your recipes in here, which I think sounds great. Yes. This is the mustard greens with spinach. It's called sarsong kasag in Hindi. Oh. It is what Bollywood films are made of. This is where they all dance through the fields, the whole mustard green fields oh, in yes. Punjab. And so we eat these greens on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a fantastic way to prep them. So mustard greens you can get at Whole Foods or a specialty store these days. Chop them all up about eight cups packed of the mustard greens and I've got spinach in my slow cooker already or crock pot about four cups throw it all in there this is literally dump and go That's Dina small. And see how this is this much different than than the traditional spinach or the well you know what it's gonna have a little bit more of a bitter taste but it tastes okay. great when it's kind of cooked down it's cooked with the spices we're gonna throw some onions in there and mustard greens remember come from that whole group of broccoli cabbage anti-cancer fighters and all that good stuff so you get all that good stuff in there and if you don't have the mustard greens use like say beet greens maybe carrot greens mix it in with the spinach just make your own blend it's okay. it's pretty um, flexible in terms of the recipes and healthy in a lot of ways because not only is this going to help you to lose weight and maybe keep that New Year's resolution, but also you mentioned those anti-cancer properties. Exactly. So important. Place. So we'll throw the garlic in. I like a lot. 15, 10 to 15 cloves. Garlic is good for you as well. <laughs> as long as you and everyone else around you is eating it, you're perfectly That's okay. Right. Get your co-anchor to eat garlic that day and you'll be good. Um, throw in some chilies. We've got the serranos and we've got, this is the key for the, the sag, the sarsonka sag, is um, cornmeal. So we're going to put a little, about two tablespoons of cornmeal in there. Hmm which is great if you're gluten-free as well. There's no wheat in this dish. I'm gonna bring this over here because now I wanna show you. That's essentially all the fresh ingredients that are gonna go in there. We're gonna now spice it. A lot of folks are really scared about spicing Indian food. I've made it really easy. I actually designed this little box. I was gonna say, this is so helpful. I love this little idea here. Yeah, so your seven essentials. This box is just rolled out at Williams Sonoma. So it's kind of fun. And the nice thing about it is you can just level with your standard teaspoon and tablespoon, level them right there. So we're gonna take some turmeric, the curcumin in the turmeric possibly offsets the onset of Alzheimer's. They're studying that as we speak. A teaspoon of the turmeric and then the coriander powder is great for diabetes and we're going to throw that in there. Now the coriander is just cilantro. When it grows up, cilantro is not as healthy though as the powder in the seeds. So oh, you want to really? kind of get that. Yep. And then we'll do a tablespoon of coarse sea salt. Right now, all of these little helpful tidbits that you're saying, which thing is good for what, do you include that in the cookbook as well? There's more of it actually in my own book, which is The Indian Slow Cooker by the same publisher. So you can get it from there. You can get it on my blog, which is IndianAsApplePie.com. And so there's lots of, you know, fun little tips on the spicing and all the health aspects of them. I think it's really important to see that stuff because I think it's inspirational as you're making the recipe and you're going, oh, look, I'm doing this, this, and this for myself mm -hmm. for long term as well as making my meal for today. Absolutely, and also the nice thing is, this is so easy, you can stick it in before you go to work. So for this recipe, all of them are a little bit different in terms of timing. Put it on high for six hours. The last hour before you actually um, finish it off, take an, this is an immersion blender, $20 mm -hmm. tool that's amazing, so you don't have to take it off and put it in your blender. Oh, stick this immersion perfect. blender in there, it becomes like a soup almost. Mm -hmm. Blend it down, and then let it cook on low for another hour. And you essentially get almost like a puree, which is over there, it's plated. 
and we eat that with a thick, thick bread, like a naan or a thick roti. And so um, it's just basically a stew. And so if you take that and put a little more water in there, you can make it a soup if you want it. And oh, interesting. Amazing. To thin it out. Oh, I love yep. that idea. Yep. And so now here I've got also for you to see are some of the different um, swap outs for vegan. So if you're talking vegan, you're talking about no animal products, no um, milk from cows, right, no can't do cheese. Um, cheese, no eggs. But we've done is shown you what you can do. So instead of the margarine, I do this earth balance. I love it. It's delicious. It's um, made out of olive oil or you can get other properties as well. They've got coconut spread as well. Tempeh is a great protein swap out for the meats. Um, we do tofu as well, the extra firm organic is what I made the tofu curry out of. And beans and lentils, just eat as many beans and lentils as you can get into your diet. Oh my goodness, there are some great recipes in here, such good ideas. Congratulations on your Thank sort you. of switch in your career there. You can find out more about Anupi's recipe and her products at IndianasApplePie.com. And of course, you can find a link to her site at WGNTV.com slash midday, along with the recipe for today, a link to the cookbook, all of the good information because this is really helpful. Even if you don't choose to be vegan completely, yes. these recipes are perfect. Yes. Thank you, Anupi. Thank you. Good to see you again. Good to see you.